Aloha, everybody. Welcome to part 15. We are now taking on chaos number two. This is the first time we actually fight the second form of chaos. And, uh, yeah, we don't fight all the forms of chaos. In fact, we never see chaos three or chaos five. A lot of people might have made fan art about it, but, uh, no such appearance in this game, because as we've seen in previous cutscenes, Eggman feeds him two Chaos Emeralds at a time. And I'm not talking about the boss fight, because it's so freaking easy. When he turns into a giant ball of water, you just bounce him into the wall, and he reverts back to his normal form. Then you glide into his face. Rinse and rinse and rinse and repeat. Really easy. You'd think, uh, the first time you're playing, that the big ball of water would hurt you, but no, you can glide into it and knock him out. That so that wasn't too much. And so, once again, folks, we have to witness the Battle of Chaos 4, and uh, it is the same thing. He still does the same attacks, we're still in that sticky water, and uh, unlike Tails, we once again have to hit him five times, just like Sonic. Tails is the only character who hits it four times, I'm not sure why, but yay. With Knuckles' glide attack, it's very easy to, you know, dodge all of the ground attacks. It's very easy to actually hit Chaos when he pops up. So this battle's still pretty easy, pretty, uh, yeah. This is the last time we'll be seeing this scene, luckily. Since Amy, Big, and Gamma are not present for the scene, we will never have to see it again. It's always annoying when you have to see the same thing repeated over and over and over and over again. Like Knuckles being an idiot. SHUT UP! <laughs> That'll never get old. And it won't be the last time, folks, so get used to it. You think this is the last time Knuckles gets tri tricked in a Sonic game? <laughs> oh, you haven't played all the Sonic games, have you? But I digress. I guess on the subject of Knuckles himself, uh, his voice actor is actually Michael McGarn. Uh, and I think he does an alright job being Knuckles, you know? He's not this angry, loud brute that I guess a lot of people think he should sound like, or, you know... I know his, his whole role is that he's supposed to be like, super serious compared to the super fun and cool Sonic, yeah! But, you know, I think this, this voice is a nice balance, you know? It's like, Knuckles is still a good guy. He still fights for what his version of justice and truth and, and happiness is, you know? Like, he's protecting the Master Emerald to stop, like, bad guys from using it for evil deeds. So I, I like his voice. I think it's, it sounds noble and heroic, but it's not goofy. Welcome to part 17, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking on Chaos 6, this time with Knuckles. Uh, this time around, Dr. Eggman is not here to drop ice bombs, but ice bombs are still scattered all over the place. So it's basically the same strategy as Sonic, but there are some minor differences. And it kind of reminds me of the old Sonic 3 and Knuckles boss fights, don't it? I mean, after all, Sonic had an easier time, but with not half of the engine being torn apart and you can damage you if you step on it. I mean, it's the same fight, but they're slightly harder for Knuckles. Knuckles can't just run around. He's got to jump over the broken engine shards and stuff, you know. <laughs> but really, Chaos 6 isn't that much harder. Uh, it's pretty much the same boss fight as it was with Sonic, but, you know, now we're Knuckles. And you can't homing attack on the ice bombs. Now, for those wondering, you'd think that the damaged engine would imply that this is what brought down the egg carrier. However, folks, you must remember, they clearly were losing altitude when they were fighting Gamma, so I don't know what the fuck happened. Knuckles had nothing to do with it. And if you think the Sky Deck Sonic destroying the cannons had something to do with it, well, why did it take so long to drop altitude? How would destroying cannons affect that? It's not like Sonic blew up a part of the ship. I sure hope Amy, Big, or Gamma have an explanation as to why the egg carrier fell. <laughs> But regardless, that was the final boss of Knuckles' playthrough. We're done. We just beat Chaos 6. Alrighty, folks, welcome to part 21. We're now taking on Zero for good this time. Uh, basically, there are now electric barriers surrounding the engine, which prepared itself after <laughs> the yeah, Chaos 6 battle. But whenever you knock Chaos, or I should say Zero, into the electrical field, and his top pops off, and then you hit the button that is exposed on his top. After getting knocked into the electrical shield, he'll always start doing some ground pound attacks. And what I always do is I always let him do the first ground pound, and then I jump for him 
immediately as he lands to hit him back into the electrical field and hit the button again. He has other attacks and things he does, but if you can just knock him into the electrical field right after he ground pounds you, Zero is obliterated. Bye bye, Zero. Mm. And that is the final boss of the Amy Rose playthrough. Alrighty, so we're fighting our first boss fight, E101 Beta. Keep pushing the shoot button. Keep pushing the shoot button. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, Beta's so advanced there, Dr. Eggman. I didn't have to try! I hope Eggman loved what I did. <laughs> Whole body parts of the enemy. You get a huge time bonus. It's crazy. Hmm. At the end of every stage, you do meet up with an E-Series robot, and yes, you do get into a big boss fight with them. However, you shouldn't expect too much depth, because you saw how easy we took out E-101 Beta. Hmm. Well, E-103 Delta is pretty much just as easy. <laughs> Oh, and thank God Gamma survived that giant explosion. Then there's a giant E on his body, but then again, he's an Eggman robot. The E could be anything. Hell, E series could mean Egg series. Oh, well, is what it means. <laughs> Any Red Mountain, just try not to fall in the lava, and then you'll meet up with E104 Epsilon at the end of the path. And once again, the problem with these bosses is that they flinch. When you hit them, they stop moving and they just back up, which allows you to shoot them as soon as their flinching is done. And it makes these boss fights rather underwhelming. If the E-Series didn't flinch, it might be interesting boss uh, battles, but uh, as it is, not really. <laughs> Sorry, Epsilon! I'm Zeta, the E-Series boss of this level, and uh, oh shit, he got modified with Sega Dreamcasts. <laughs> no, seriously, he has Sega Dreamcasts in between his purple parts. Which is fun. But anywho, uh, he has turrets, which he's shooting uh, cannons with. He's shooting lasers with. The floor is moving in a circular pattern. You just sort of follow the floor, keep aiming it. Not sure how that works. But anywho, folks, we're taking on E-101 Mark II. Beta will not be killed by just constantly shooting the shoot button this time. He actually has a force field blocking the front of him. When he does a giant charge at you, you actually get out of the way and then you shoot him in the back while he passes you. Uh, the more you damage him, the more the fight gets continuously harder because he keeps pulling out new mm. tactics like homing mm. missiles and giant explosion lasers, which he shoots at you mm. later. And again, the only thing you have to look out for is when he has this rainbow-colored force field on his front, and that's when he's charging at you. You dodge out of the way, and when he's taking a break after that, you shoot him in the back, and that's how you damage a Beta Mark II. Mm -hmm. And I love this boss theme, by the way. The, uh, the, the Beta Mark II boss theme is another one of my favorite boss themes in the game. Sonic Adventure soundtrack is just flawless, what can I say? There's like hardly any tracks I don't like. Most of them are pretty epic, pretty awesome. Even though I don't even like Amy Rose's My Sweet Passion theme song, oh yeah, the, the instruments in it are great. If it didn't have lyrics, it might have been a good song, <laughs> in my opinion. But five hits, or is it four? I, I could never tell. And Beta Mark II, even advanced, you cannot defeat Gamma! Dr. Egg- And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the hardest final boss in the game. Big's final boss is Chaos Six, and you have to fish Froggy out of him. There's a little ring around Froggy, and you're supposed to aim for it. Mm. Once you fish Froggy out of Chaos Six, well, you win. Mm. You don't even have to reel him in. That's the final boss fight. We beat Big Story! Hooray! Mm. Hooray! Mm. Froggy! <laughs> Alrighty, folks, welcome to part 29. We are now taking on Perfect Chaos with mm. Super Sonic. And admittedly, you're probably going to die in your first try because we're obviously playing a new gameplay style, which we haven't played before. 
Uh, if you remember anything about Super Sonic from Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, his ring count diminishes with every second that passes. So while you're racing to battle perfect chaos, you actually have to keep running into rings in order to sustain your health. And uh, the controls can be a little bit wonky, honestly, with Super Sonic here. Uh, the, the movement is really sensitive, and you have to make it across these very thin highway pieces that are sticking out of the water. And uh, sometimes I, I tend to run into the highways and just, like, stop dead in my tracks. Uh, basically, in order to attack Perfect Chaos, you have to reach your highest speed and run into him. If you run into him really slow, he'll, like, shoot you out of his mm -hmm. gut or whatever. You'll just, like, fall out of him. But if you reach your highest speed and then you run into Chaos, you'll go all the way to his head and damage him. And, uh, that's how it's done. As for attacks, Chaos loves to send all these different kind of tornadoes at you. He loves to shoot a giant laser with his mouth. And he also has the big meteor shower of fireballs, which he tends to shoot at you as well. In the case of, of dodging all of these attacks, obviously don't attack Chaos head-on from the front. Try and stay close to the buildings as you can. Try and stay to the left or right of it. But, uh... You'll probably die in your first try playing this level. I certainly did. And, uh... With a little practice, it's not that bad. The real issue I find with Perfect Chaos is really just collecting rings. Uh, attacking him is not really that big a problem, but sometimes, if I do screw up here and there, having to gather all those rings and get on the highway and be slow about it, that can really halt my progress and screw me up. But yeah, this is the epic final battle of the game. And, uh, Super Sonic is actually not in the game playable. You cannot go to regular levels and play as Super Sonic. The playthrough is very misleading, I know. You expect going into a playthrough called Super Sonic that, hey, I can go into any level I want and be Super Sonic? No. There was originally a planned thing, though. There was actually a, a deleted voice clip uh, that people found on the CD where Takal said, like, if you collect 50 rings, you can turn into Super Sonic. So that was originally a thing, but for whatever reason, Sega took it out. And then they never followed up on it for 10 years. <laughs> okay, 12 years, I should say. But, uh... After defeating Ka uh, Perfect Chaos the first time, the music changes, and then his attacks tend to get more aggressive. I honestly don't think it's that much different, but, you know. It can be a tough battle. Of all the supersonic uh, battles in 3D, Perfect Chaos is a nice balance of difficulty, I find. He's certainly harder than the one we will see in Sonic Adventure 2, or Sonic Heroes, or whatever, blah 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 blah. Epic soundtrack, uh, great final boss for the series, or for the game, I should say. And uh, I enjoy it quite profusely. It is fun being supersonic in this part. But it's time to end this chaos once and for all. Booyah! Well, enjoy the ending, folks. Hey, I'll play with you another time.